It's funny, yeah, because he is kind of talking about housing and the race for good housing. And um, he is also focusing kind of on one person getting two jobs. And I think it was already, in a lot of ways, a two-income trap as soon as women entered the workplace, because now, like, things were kind of ramped up to, okay, well, we're going to have more people in the workplace, and then prices ramped up to meet that. Um, that new supply of money and that new, you know, like suddenly and that's there was the trap demand for more jobs. And um, yeah. And, and he's just talking about literally the housing trap, but it really becomes kind of everything. Hey ladies, drop it down. Just want to see you touch the ground. Don't be shy, girl, go Vanessa. Shake your body like a baby dancer. Hey ladies, drop it down. Just want to see you touch it's a little bit of that keeping up with the joneses motivation where so-and-so's got a new car well i also want to have a new car you know they've got the new whatever subscription and i need to generate a few more discretionary dollars to also get this subscription fee and like, the new iPhone. It escalates. You know? <laughs> and there's always something new for you to need. The handbag. But yeah, and then it becomes, you know, it's so wrapped up now that like you need you need two partners with two jobs each. Yeah, it, yeah you're right. It escalated from one person having to work two jobs to now both people in the household are working. And now maybe both people in the household are working two jobs each because why because you need two cars why to get to two jobs hey ladies drop it down just want to see you touch the ground don't be shy girl go bonanza shake your body like a baby dancer hey ladies drop it down just want to see you touch the ground don't be shy girl go bonanza hey ladies drop it down just want to see you touch the ground don't be shy girl go bonanza shake your body like a baby dancer hey ladies drop it down just want to see you and it's really you know the then it's like well you have to pay for sitters and you have to pay for you know these the better school doesn't mean it's necessarily free just because you're paying taxes so now you're paying tuition or you're paying you know increase like if you need your kid to stay for aftercare and you really do the math on these things like are you making enough in your four jobs to justify all that you have to spend to not be around for your children and to not actually take to enjoy your life really and that's the trap of it is that that's the sacrifice it, you're sacrificing the quality of life and more importantly you're sacrificing raising your children yourself and when you're not raising your children who is 